Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Molten Core. Uh, first off, I did create a Patreon. It is located in the description. So if you'd like to support me, um, that's how you can do it. Uh, I know a lot of you have been interested on how my dog's doing. So we have taken him to several different places to get kind of some second checkups and stuff. Um, he's going in for surgery on Friday. Uh, and so that'll be good because then he can start to recover and get to the point where he can walk again. So, all right, guys, we're going to talk about Molten Core. Like I said, Molten Core is the level 60 raid located in Black Rock Mountain. Molten Core is home to Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, and I'm sure many of you would like to defeat him. Well, the first things on our agenda is we need to be level 60 and we need to have farmed most of our pre bis gear before we step into Molten Core. Now, this is all going to be a lot of fun anyways, so make sure you get out there and do all those dungeons um, and, you know, get geared up and get ready for Molten Core. Okay, guys, first tip. There is an attunement. This attunement process is very, very easy. You have to find a quest near the entrance of Blackrock Depths, and it's called Attunement to the Core. Like I said, it's very easy. All you have to do is run Blackrock Depths at the very end of the dungeon or near the Lyceum event. You have to click on a Core Fragment. Um, and then you'll have to turn in the quest. That is all there is to it, um, but make sure you get that done, obviously, before you try to go do uh, Molten Core. So the next important thing and a fight that you'll encounter very early on with Trash are Surgers. So there are rock elementals within Molten Core. One is the Annihilators, and one are the Surgers. Surgers you need to stack up on top of their... Um, their body so everyone in the raid all 40 people need to be on top of these surgers that is one thing that you're going to encounter very early on uh, your raid leader will obviously make it very clear that that is what you need to do but regardless of if you're a hunter or a healer or whatever you need to be stacking up on these surgers so they don't do the knockbacks so now let's talk about drinking between pulls so you want to drink between pulls even if you're not you know sub 50% mana. You'll never know when you need that extra bit of mana and so you should always be trying to keep yourself as topped off as you can. Um, you're obviously going to talk to a mage before raid and they will have tons of water ready for you so make sure you're drinking all the time. It's very very important and for melee or non-healers you really should be eating between pulls as well because you're saving time for healers and you're just saving mana for healers as well. So you can make um, pulls faster and everything like that. So for some of you, this is your first classic raid experience. Understand that threat is a very real issue, especially early on and especially with tanks that aren't very experienced. So going crazy with your DPS rotation really might not be a good idea. Uh, I really recommend having a threat meter add on um, and also having your tank um, to build up a little bit of threat before you start going crazy. Um, this is just good tips, especially if you're running with people that um, you're not very comfortable with or you haven't, um, you know, run Molten Core with in the past. Always take things slow at the beginning before you just start going crazy with your DPS. So, bosses get harder. Granted, most of Molten Core is pretty easy. The later fights, such as Major Domo and Ragnaros, are definitely not as easy. So don't get cocky early on and make um, and make sure you pay attention to the boss mechanics threat. And then, of course, listen to your raid leader because each or each fight, um, each boss fight has different mechanics. And sometimes you have you know mages that need to be decursing. You have um, hunters that are needing to kite certain things. Uh, you need to be staying out of uh, uh, blast radiuses and things like that. So just make sure you pay attention and you listen to your raid leader. That is the most important thing. Okay. If you fall into the lava, just keep jumping. <laughs> okay. Make sure you're jumping. Call out for summons in Discord. And if you're in combat, don't panic. Try to get out. There are many places that you can get out of the lava. And if you're stuck and you know you're going to die, make sure you die in line of sight of your healers so that they can res. Don't get too upset um, and don't be too worried. A lot of people fall into the lava, especially if your group is not um, handling surgers very well and you're, say, um, you know, on like a bridge or something like that uh, and you fall into the lava. It's not a huge deal, guys. Just make sure you keep jumping. 
And, you know, if you are going to die, die in line of sight. That's very important. Okay. Next, stand behind the main tank and always listen to directions, guys. This is not time for you to go off and, you know, explore and wander around. Um, there are, there's a lot of trash, especially early on in Molten Core, in that first corridor that you can easily pull if you're not paying attention. So always stay behind the main tank and listen to directions. Each raid does things differently, so make sure you play by their rules. Don't be a slave to DPS meters. They don't really matter, guys. Some bosses, mages will need to be decursing. You know, other fights, hunters are need are going to need to be watching for enrages or kiting um, mobs around. The bosses will die. The best thing you can do is take care to stay alive and help your raid. Your DPS obviously matters, but not in the same sense as it matters on maybe uh a fight where you're trying to burst a boss down quickly before an enrage timer or something like that. You have time to kill these bosses. These This dungeon's not difficult. Just make sure you survive as that is the most important thing. Okay, debuff slots. So we aren't getting the eight debuff slots. We're actually getting 16 debuff slots. So already there, it's a little bit easier, but make sure that you don't have the same mentality that you have in dungeons and um, just doing world PVP or PVEs, excuse me. There are a limited amount of debuff slots, so make sure that you know um, what are the priority debuffs and that if you are a certain player and you have a certain debuff that you are in charge of, uh, you know, fairy fire for druids, curses for locks, sunders for warriors, things like that, make sure you're sticking um, on, or you're staying on top of those debuffs and you're applying them as quickly as you can because they matter for the entire raid. Okay. Understand loot rules and accept that there is a very good chance that you might not get a single item. Remember, loot is different in BFA. Each boss drops a few pieces and your whole 40 man raid group has to divvy up the loot. So whether you're using loot council, DKP, or rolling on items, just understand that it is very likely that you will leave a Molten Core run without any items, which will make getting a piece of loot from Molten Core that much more exciting. So don't get discouraged, guys, if you don't get any loot the first time. There's always other runs to be had. Okay, I'm not going to cover boss mechanics in depth in this video because I believe that is very important to do within the raid, especially if you're a raid that hasn't ran together. Your uh, raid leader in Discord should be calling these things out and making sure that everyone's um, knowledgeable of the fights. Every raid leader will will lead slightly differently. Um, if you're a very experienced player, maybe throwing in a few suggestions here and there isn't a bad idea. But for the most part, guys, you should really respect your raid leader and let them lead the raid how they see fit. Uh, obviously, if you see a glaring issue with something that they're saying, go ahead and bring it up. But other than that, guys, there are different ways to fight these bosses. Just because um, your past experience or how your raid leader has done it in the past might be different. Make sure you respect your raid leader and you listen to them. And the final tip, guys, is have fun. In general, Molten Core is very easy and you really shouldn't struggle outside of maybe a few bosses. Uh, the biggest struggles really come from within the raid group and just the social aspect of everything, guys. So that being said, make sure you come properly prepared to a raid. If you're having um, questions on consumables, I have a video on healer consumables out on my channel. If you have questions with, say you're playing a druid and you want to know what is the best druid gear to have for healing, I have a video on phase one best in slot uh, druid gear. So take a look at that. In general, guys, enjoy Molten Core and have fun with it. It's just a raid, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, again, it's just a game. So, so uh, take it for what it is, and and just have fun with uh, with different players. Now, in creating this video, and also just anticipating kind of questions you guys might have, I understand that a lot of you are probably very curious in terms of what my um, gameplay is going to look like for phase one what are things that i'm going to be focusing as a, as a druid um you know in terms of leveling what's my route going to be uh you know what's my priorities on you know doing dungeons do i stop and do any dungeons on the way what quests do i make sure i complete 
all these questions um, are going to be answered in my upcoming video. It's going to be a pretty long one and it's going to cover druids in phase one. Um, everything that I'm going to be focused on, everything that I'm going to be striving to complete, and um, just a whole lot of information overall, guys. So I hope you enjoy that. Again, thanks for all the support. Like I said, my Patreon is located in the description. Um, this will probably be the last video that I kind of directly mention it, um, but it will always be linked in the description. So if you can't support me at this point, that's totally fine. I understand um, your views and you know, liking, commenting, uh, all that kind of stuff on my videos is enough right there. So I really, really appreciate it, guys. Um, and yeah, let's start discussing things in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.